right into this game. This is a big one. Uh, Epsilon really have to show their colors. They have to flare their feathers in this one. And they have to show, you know, we're here to play. But then again, you have got Reason over there. Uh, Reason not quite on the same level as uh, Epsilon, but I'm sure they'll still try because that's what the game's <laughs> all about. I like how you're not even at the point of like arguing their case anymore. Oh. They, they will try, they at will least, try. At least they're here. Well, if anything, you have to talk about the idea that they are arguably this one. They're not arguably. They've been together for longer than their opponents, so potentially they could have the tactical basis. I just think individually that Epson are going to be running away with this, and either way, talking of running, probably gunning, they're going straight into the B site. Yeah, make it quick, make it snappy. Give nothing to Reason, just straight off the mark, getting in their faces. Now, they haven't spotted out Cinder, who has been hiding away. Bomb's been planted. He's waiting for his opportunity. They have absolutely no idea he's here. He could get himself a bit of uh, a bit of damage being done here. He's going to be peeking out at some point. Come on, Cinder, do something, buddy. He's not going to find it. There you go. One kill comes in, two kills come in. Can he find any more? He's on his own versus three. Maybe a little bit too late there to strike. He didn't help out his teammates. He played uh, a very individual game. And you can already hear, they're giving it. They are not holding back on this one, old boy. Yeah, I, I think that was... Like, obviously, he was trying to play the timing there, but I feel like maybe the communication was a little bit lapsed because, obviously, his position is so valuable. If they wait a second before they try and retake, he then gets the two kills, and it's a 5v3. Okay, that's decent, but it's if, if it's one versus five, then there's no value to those kills yeah. whatsoever. It's just, okay, he gets an extra $600 in this yeah. force yeah, fight yeah, they yeah, have. Absolutely. You're completely right. Uh, and, of course, on this round, there is very little to play with. Pistols here and there, Deagle. There's not a huge amount going on. This should be a pretty easy cleanup. Now, uh, quite a heavy investment. Three rifles coming straight out here from Epsilon. They're not messing about. They want to hold on to these weapons, get into the next rounds, start fragging, do some work, and that's exactly what they should be doing. Freddy B, just trying to uh, scout out, see what's going on, see if he can find any opening kills just to uh, make this a little bit easier. Thomas is playing with Barbar down in the underpass, firing a few blanks, nothing going straight through. Barbar doing some work. He's trying to get away. One HP and a dream, but he's got a teammate in position. That's going to be Freddy B, just making sure Oh, but I won't be going down just yet. Freddy B, still going. Afeway, 47 in hand. He's going to be doing a little bit of damage. Molotov goes in over towards the bank, and this is an A take. Yeah, pretty much Freddy's now more than more of just a fake as the bomb will be going down, and he is actually going to lose his life. Now, that could be interesting because he was holding an AK, so that will be something to go into the hands of Thomas. Now, obviously, this is their force by round. I would say just keep that into the next and have the pistols and give it another go with a rifle in play. They can drop a pistol over and at least make things a little bit more interesting. Now, Bob is low as well, so if they could somehow get that UMP out of his hands, that's an extra weapon, and... Well, maybe there's a chance they could do some extra stuff in the next round. The problem is, obviously, on the T side, keeping four players alive is going to be magnificent for Epsilon. They're going to have plenty of cash. And although there's a chance that Thomas will do something with the rifle, that's all just speculation for the next round. Yeah, absolutely. So three players staying alive, two armors being saved through an AK-47. That's a pretty decent save, especially going into that third round um, over on CT side. You know, they're not expecting to go in for a buy here, so anything they can save through is really big. Obviously, a lot of money being brought into this round, especially with that saved uh, armor. So all of the money that both Thomas and Hoodlum have goes straight into the next round. They don't have to spend a dime, not a penny, but they can, in this round, have a little bit of a game going, as, as well as the uh, P250 being passed over to Cinder. So a pretty nice round, actually, coming out from Reason Gaming, all things considered. You know, not much to play with, but they should be looking pretty happy in this one. Yeah, in terms of what they've decided to go for, it's only really a little bit of connector presence, and then they've got pretty much every single player stacked over towards that B site. So just gambling. Obviously, if they can keep the AK, that's great. Bring it into the next round, have extra utility. If not, well, you've gambled, you've tried to win the round, and if it doesn't go your way, that's absolutely fine. It will be nice, though, especially for the T side with that MAC-10 in play, as they should be able to farm up an extra bit of cash. Yeah, not a huge amount to be done, really, for a reason, if they can find a kill. That AK-47 not really coming into effect just yet. They've stacked over towards B. Not sure why the AK is playing the B site. Really should be over towards A, playing solo, just trying to get some work done, because you know you can get that rotate in. You know they're not going to rush it down. That being said, hold on to it into the next round. That's still a full buy that he's got. All he has to buy is nades. He can drop his teammate. He can open his options a little bit more and uh, try and deny Epsilon. <sighs> he's going to go in. does find himself a kill onto May, but... That's only a MAC-10 being dropped. Thomas is getting the hell out of there. Cinder going to get taken down by Freddy. That's a bit of money in his pocket. The remaining players. There's going to be a plant going in finally for Epsilon. 
And the last remaining CT players, they've moved all the way back over to that A bomb site. Thomas and Cray now holding onto some weapons. Yeah, and well, keeping a couple of AKs will be great going into their first buy round. The thing is, from Epsilon already, you can see them playing the rotations very, very well. They've been sending fakes even when they're up against pistols. And oh, actually, we're going to see another with a MAC 10. That could be a UMP, which could be something extra, at least. Cosmin's going to be able to do a little bit more damage over towards what they are trying to hold on to. But CT side have just got out of there. They've got two AKs. If anything, they've got the same as what the T's have kept in this situation. And that may actually give them an opportunity to buy up an AWP. Yeah, so a lot of money being saved obviously opens their options massively. Thomas, like you say, he can buy an AWP now. He can, uh, he can, there it is, the big green gun already out. But that being said, young Smoo is bringing the big gun to the table. Let's see if he's going to be bringing it to the table or if he's just going to be dishing up dinner. We know he's a monster, but is he today? We well, spoke about it earlier, the, the idea of Thomas being able to counter him. But there's one thing knowing what he's going to do. There's another thing stopping what he's going to do. So we'll see if he does have the ability to do just that. Not taking too aggressive a peek over in towards middle. And Smuya is the one waiting on the other side in case he does go for something of the sort. CT side really Ooh. trying to work Ooh, off yeah. of this. And you have to remember, it actually works both ways. So maybe if there are a few tendencies that Thomas has, yeah. Smuya can pick those apart as well. Yeah, but, you know, Smoothie is not the kind of player to read someone else. He's the kind of player to play his game. And if you get in the way of it, well, bad luck, unfortunately. Freddie B to open this one up. Takes down Cinder. I know you're a big fan of Freddie B. He's uh, he's on one of your star side. players. He's yeah, He's a beast. Yeah, absolutely. Freddie um, Beast. Freddie Beast. Not sure that's what that stands for, but uh, I'm going to let now. with a warning. Um, nothing so far from either AWP. Thomas just backing off, making sure that AWP stays alive. Of course, that is so key. Keeping that AWP alive, keeping that presence on the map. Making sure they know it's there but ensuring it doesn't go down. Oh, no. Freddy B. Freddy B, is he going to check it? Young Cray, this is an odd angle, but he's going to win. Cray takes down Freddy. And now into a four versus four. Still, advantage does lay in the grasps of the T side, but huge positional control being taken up by Cray there. He has a lot of the map under his control, and he should be able to dictate the play now, as he does hear these players coming towards him. It's Barbar -Bar and Maeve. The spray comes through. It's a double kill. Cray finds them, and it's a 3K to start off the fourth round of the game. Epsilon absolutely drawing a blank there. And they're still they're having to push in at the moment into Cray. He will get one more as he looks to try and just, well, finish off this round. And he has Smuya just going to look to try and save the AWP. And yeah, decent round coming out from Reason, or more specifically, Cray. Yeah, absolutely. Great round from him. Really shutting it down. And all of that positional control then, even if he didn't get those two more kills, he's reduced the time. He's essentially thrown a spanner in the works. Uh, only thing I would say is, instead of pushing towards Cray, where they knew he was and he was in a forward position and he could have been anywhere, why not just push towards uh, A quickly? Get into the A bomb site. You know you're only going to be taking on one or two players there, whereas you know there's an embedded player down towards B. I, I don't know about that decision, but in the end it doesn't pay off, and so they're going to have to go into the fourth round. No, sorry, the fifth round uh, with a little bit less money, but still a complete full bite on the board for Epsilon. Yeah, a little bit of a reduction in utility, but not anything that's specifically going to hurt them. So they're going to be fine going forward. Now, CT side obviously have to capitalize on this round themselves. They're well, one round away from being reset. They do keep three players alive in the previous, and also the couple of AKs that they saved will have given them a little bit of an extra boost where they wouldn't have been able to buy up before. But a lot of that as well was invested into that AWP. Now, T side are taking over long control. On the other side of the map, they've got players holding. I think this is basically just a counter to what we saw in the last. Uh, if Cray goes for a push this time, there's a man waiting for him. Yeah, absolutely. Just making sure they shut down those pushes. Yep, he can do it once. But if he tries it again, they're going to shut him down and they're going to make sure there's an opportunity there. Again, Smuya trying to get some work done with the AWP. Oops, not much going his way so far. And he's not going to click the button there. He's not going to be able to take advantage of that situation. And so Karma. And his teammate Thomas both staying alive over on that A bomb site, keeping it five versus five. It's pretty equal so far, utility wise, especially. Here comes the push onto that A bomb site. The timing not working out there for Thomas. He's going to move away just as Maeve took the peak. But a window of opportunity opens itself. Thomas trying to get some work done. Bomb goes down. That's one kill coming in, two kills coming in. No one is trading him out. Cosmin finally gets a kill, but Cinder straight back in. There he is. Smoya coming alive finds one. Freddy follows up. Smoya with another one. And it's all on Cray. One versus two. 
And this is a very big ask. He got himself three in the previous round, and he's got a hell of a lot to do in this one. Got himself an incendiary as well, as he will try to clear a position. The problem is the after plants on this A site are just so effective. He's got to try and find an individual duel, and unfortunately, he's actually going to be going towards short. Player comes in. It's actually Smuya picks him off anyway, and that'll be another for Epsilon. And already, <laughs> you can hear them. You can hear them. Yeah, you can indeed. They are giving it. It. Yeah, we heard that earlier. Giving it. Giving it. He is indeed, as uh, as Smoo would say, banging them, I believe, is uh, <laughs> is the phrase used. Uh, but no, another, a great round there coming in from Epsilon. Absolutely decimating uh, that defense. It looked so strong when Thomas opened up with those two frags. Is this technical because they just got blown out the server or what? I don't know. I'm sure it's all right. I'm sure it's all fine. Um, yeah, so great round there coming in from uh, from the Epsilon boys. Yeah, it, it was a little bit of a an interesting start as well because it did take them a lot of time to actually trade out that initial kill. So I'm not really sure like what happened in that situation. I think Tom is just lurking around in the smokes, managed to get him, and then he tries yeah. to run through it, and that was sort of his demise. Freddy again working on those entries on the A site. It, it's just something he's very, very good at, and yeah. I think he will be in this game. Like the the problem is in normal situations when when he's playing against like sort of mid tier teams. He's very good at getting entry frags. Yeah. So in this situation, he should be... He should just be walking yeah. to the site, popping heads. Yeah, absolutely. And the same with Samu, really. Difference is he is used to playing these opponents. He's used to going up against UK players. He knows what they're going to do. He knows what he's going to do, most importantly. And he's just going to be banging them. Oh, oh, good Lord. It's an order. Oh, told. Ooh. Take a seat. Naughty boys we are. Take a seat. <laughs> We're going to have a chat. Why don't you uh, come into my office and take a seat? Yeah, so um, Smoya, four kills so far in the game. Three of them, quite cool, in my opinion. What do you reckon? What well, the thing is well, with what? Because I got to cast them quite recently, oh, yeah. and like doing some Hellcase stuff. And like online, at least when they started, they just did look a little bit disjointed. I think the difference in this tournament is they are a class above. So even if they do look disjointed, it's not so much of a problem. I think individually they're just going to be able to get themselves through. But I'm hoping there'll be at least a team or two that will be able to challenge them along the way. Uh, maybe if Method could get themselves going and just have like a sort of the tactics going. Have we just had some screens turned off? Is that, what, is that the problem? Is that what's going on? No comment at all in the slices. <laughs> I will not be commenting on that. Yeah, I don't uh, really know. I don't really know. We haven't seen <laughs> enough to go into too much yeah, detail. No. But uh, from what we have seen, we've seen five rounds, I believe. Five, five or six. six five. About five. five. We've five. seen five. Five rounds. It was uh, yeah, the yeah, first yeah, three, yeah. lost yeah. one, then the win straight back. So uh, one thing to comment on is uh, complete reset of economy there. So now there is zero money in uh, in Reason's bank accounts, uh, which in general is is pretty correct in my opinion. Uh, mostly because they don't win anything. Uh, EPS finals, I believe. Was uh, was the most recent example, but we're back into the game, so let's continue to watch uh, this abysmal performance <laughs> so far. But no, there has been one pretty nice round and some really nice frags coming in from uh, from Reason. So well, let's get right into the games from Cray. Unbiased, of course. Of course, of course. Either way, CT side not really able to invest too much into this round. They've got a few deagles, hoping. For some magic in this situation, but Barber's already going to start things off, and this leaves them very open over on that A side of the map. And the one thing we have seen, at least, from this T side is they've been probing both sides. Like, they've been looking to try and find kills all over the map. If you have one player, or even, like, a, say, a four stack over towards another, it will just be one player pushing in. Like, one round will have Freddy B as the entry frag on another. The next round, he's lurking over towards that B side, like he is now, and they've actually just called in Pretty much the full rotation. I think they're just going to try and execute onto the site as they know they're up against pistols. Yeah, there's not a huge amount going for a reason. If they can get a kill or two, happy days. Barbar going to open it up, takes one down. There is a trade coming in there, but no more to be said. So a nice kill coming in from reason. They didn't have anything invested into the round, so it's good enough. If Karma can find maybe an exit frag, steal a gun, happy days. If not, go into the next round, reset that mindset. They've had a bit of a pause. They've relaxed, chilled out, played it cool. So Playing some B-ball down yeah, by Yeah, I thought that was um, But there we go. Cosmine, going to find that last kill. Nothing for Karma. And uh, I think quiet confidence there from the Epsilon boys. They're not overly aggressive. They're not yelling and screaming much. 
So, good stuff. Happy days for Epsilon. Yeah, and it's actually, is it going to be another pistol buy? Yeah, they don't have enough to go for another one. It's forced them into a double eco position. So, this is just going to be wonderful for Epsilon. As if the sort of start couldn't be good enough, they should be 6-1 up before we see a second buy coming in for reason. Now, I like the fact that they are saving potentially to get the AWPs on the board and to have themselves all the extra utility. The problem is six rounds on the T side is already a reasonable scoreline. So they're going to have to pretty much win it out from there. Reasonable. Unintentional as well. Unintentional pun, of course. Uh, moving in to this all-important pistol round. Uh, a couple of kills, happy days, a little handful. Maeve going full aggro, going to pay off. Barbara and Maeve both finding themselves easy kills. Now just Thomas Karma and Hoodlum remain to try and do a little bit of work, but there isn't a huge amount that can be done here. Deagle goes to work, nothing comes of it. Freddie B and Maeve once again cleaning up. Now, I said going into this game, I'm a big fan of Maeve. I think, uh, although you've got Smoothie coming into this team, picking up the AWP, Maeve is, has always been a reliable AWP. If you give that man the AWP, you put him in a position, you say, aim that way, he's going to get some seriously cool kills. I, I don't know you grimace, but you trust me, Maeve is a good AWPer. Honestly. Well, in this, in this circumstance, he's more taken the tactical side of things. I believe his, so. Using his experience to sort of guide this team through. Uh, spoke about it in the video. And, well, I, I, th I do think he has work to do. Obviously, this tournament, I don't think, should be too much of a reflection of where the team is because that's not their target. It has to be said. They are aiming to try and become one of the top teams. Like That's just the way it is. I think Epsilon have always been sort of tier two, tier three, no matter what roster we've sort of looked at for them, at least in CSGO. And yep. I, I think it, there's potential with this team. There's massive potential. So a lot of pressure is going to be on Maeve's shoulders to sort of guide them in that way. But I like the fact that Epsilon have actually taken some risks. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, risky picking up a guy like Smuya. But I would say it pays off. Miss coming in and I'll bite my hat <laughs> uh, on that one <laughs> because he's died. I'm not going for the full eat my hat because that wouldn't make sense, would it? Uh, Too but much it dedication. Is, of course, one man advantage going the way of Reason Gaming. So potentially a chance to get back in here, get themselves back into the game. Now, the worst thing they could do here is win and lose. You know, if they reset their economy at this point, especially on that CT side, they really are in a lot of trouble for the rest of the game. But not yet, as the push will come into the bomb site. Epsilon trying to get themselves forward. Nice kill coming in from Freddy B, but it's Hoodlum to clean up one and two after Cinder finds himself the first frag. All now on Freddy B's shoulders. He will pick up some utility, but Thomas is in position and he's going to find the kill. Yeah, they're going to keep themselves the double AWP setup as well, which actually surprisingly works, even though it's an aggressive B push. Normally, AWPs in that sort of situation aren't going to be working, but they had a nice read on the situation as well. I wonder if Epsilon will have actually spotted both, though, because that could mean they just speed up the tactical together, and that could be a big problem. And double orbs, of course, very costly to rebuy, especially if you get reset. So we've it's already been mentioned. We'll see if they are going to be able to continue at least somewhat of a streak. And they need to. If anything, to have a decent half here, they at least need to win it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the reason on that CT side is so key. And this is the round that it comes down to, in my opinion. This has to be the round that they win to turn this around. If they don't win this round, might as well give up now. Might as well move on to the second map, honestly, because it, it just becomes so difficult to win after that point. No money. Uh, morale starts to drop. I would say go on to the next map. But it's going to be Thomas opening this one up. Can't find the second. Asmi will take him down through the wall. Now Karma Pagna has to hold his ground. One kill comes in. Now looking for the next. A jumping Maeve will come through. One kill comes in, leading from the front, as they say. Now in a three versus three. Hoodlum. Sitting in bank, AWP in hand. Can he get any work done with it? He's going to try and spam, but it's not going to work out for him. Nade goes through, do it a damage, but he's been molotov off. Now Cinder has to either wait or go. It's up to him, but with this afterplant situation, I would say save. Well, this is one spot where the AWP could actually be valuable for taking these longer range battles over towards the toilets. Also, Cray in the back lines. He's going to get one, but it's instantly traded out back to a two versus two. The distraction could give a few seconds to actually get onto the bomb, but straight away, Barber's going to finish off one, and Maeve will get the second. Straight reset. Reason are going to have problems with their money once again. Yeah, great round coming in from Epsilon. And like I say, Reason had to win that round. It was so, so important that they took that one. And, and now the rest of the game, the game becomes a downhill battle. They're going to have to fight their way back into this one. And genuinely, though, I would honestly now look to the next map because they've got no money. This is when morale... No, 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 seriously, because this is when morale starts to really slip. You know, this is when uh, people start to get annoyed at each other. They start to get, uh, you know, why did you do this? Why did you do this? And, 
and it really it's because and everybody knows sliding. to make morale positive you have to completely give up, give up. yeah absolutely <laughs> hey it worked worked <laughs> no uh, you know what freddy b going onto the bomb site he's gonna find himself one two can he find a third of course he can and a fourth no he's not that aggressive he's gonna fall back let his teammates do the work hoodlum looking to try and kill his teammate there mave getting dinked down low hp across the board but cos he's gonna get taken down in the end hoodlum last man alive He's going to get himself a nice little kill onto Cosmine, but in the end, he will go down. So a little bit of damage being done there, especially the HP coming really low is, is a good sign for reason. But they have to now look to the gun round. If they're not going to look to the next map, they've yeah. got to look to the gun round. The thing is, they're still, again, going to have a weak economy on a couple of players here. You can see the rebuy of the AWP on Thomas a couple of times has left him with very little cash. And in terms of their buy, they have a Mag 7 now in the mix. And I'm interested to see where he's actually going to be playing. I imagine through the connector, that's only real place other than short B that that gun is valuable whatsoever. And Barber is going to be the one pushing forward in that connector. They've been pretty good at taking control of it so far with not really too much contention. Once again, we're going to see the B site come into question as the T's gather up outside again. But it has been, well, the one spot where it's been a little bit hit and miss. Like the CT side did manage, well, I suppose, one of their two rounds over towards that B site. Yeah, so really holding onto that bomb site is, is key. And of course, like you say, the only place really that you want to be seeing that Mag 7 is uh, maybe over towards Monster uh, on short if you're really close. It's the only places it will really work. But even on Monster, you need that utility to back it up. Uh, and instead, they've gone with the UMP. So How it's going to be Cray. has Maeve got here? He's a clever man. With, See, nobody, I tell you. with nobody noticing, though. I, they've, they've just completely yeah. abandoned Long. This is... I'm a like, they're not going to realize until like pretty much everybody's already dead. And Barb yeah. is going to find one as well. So there's no rotation available. Yeah, look, I'm telling you, I'm a really big fan of Maeve. He's a clever player, dude. Look, look at the patience as yeah. well. This is just what you like to see. This is the first a little bit, but it's easy. No way they could have known that was coming. I can almost guarantee they're going to be shouting at their A players at this point, as that was just poor. Yeah, not the greatest performance coming in on that round. Of course, uh, you know, like I say, I'm a huge fan of Maeve. He's a clever player. He's got the skills to back it up. Wait, he was didn't a bit, even need was a bit to worried. be that clever there. <laughs> well, he just no, walked bit, up long. Yeah, knowing where to push, when to push, how to probe out whether there's someone there, he's done really well in, in that regard. And the trigger control. Of I, course. I, I always like a player. Like, he could have easily taken that first kill, and then the value of what he did would have been lowered significantly, but instead waits. Also, Barber getting another kill in the mid position helped as well. But 9-2 to two on the T side. Half one comfortably already. Now Epsilon are just basically getting style points. Yeah, absolutely. Just trying to see how far they can go. But th the thing is, they're still not playing sloppy. They are they are taking it very seriously. You know, you saw Freddy B over towards B. He went in, he found himself three great frags, and then he thought, no, I'm not going to continue going for this. I'm going to back off, let my teammates do the work, make sure we get the kill, because that's more important at the Obviously end of the day. the bomb. This is the same as last round, really, isn't it? How's he done that? How's he there? How's he done that? I think he must have walked through the connector, but I'm... Not really sure how he's got him behind, and that's just going <laughs> to, well, literally blow the mind of Cosmine. Doesn't quite manage to get the second, but he's done some damage and could at least net another frag for the remaining players pushing in. But Freddy B now, the one pushing forward, actually gets caught trying to pick up a pistol, maybe a little bit greedy in that situation, but yeah, every time. Giving it. And that is the definition <laughs> of giving it, in case you're interested. Unreal. Yeah, another uh, nice round coming in there from Epsilon. 2.10 now. And this reminds me a little bit of the last game we saw uh, with Infused. Infused, of course, being Reason uh, in uh, this situation. We're getting spanked. Yes, essentially. They are, as uh, Mr. Smooman would say, they are getting banged. <laughs> uh, is that an official terminology? Is that something we can say? Is it, is it in the Oxford No, definitely dictionary. not. I don't think so. Well, I think it is. It just isn't. <laughs> not for that. <laughs> anyway, kills coming in now. It's a nice opening there from Cinder. We haven't seen a huge amount from the lad uh, as of yet. But he's going to find himself an opening kill into this one. Maybe turn this around. Of course, we <laughs> what we've seen is a bit of a trend. Five rounds for Epsilon, one round for Reason. Five rounds for Epsilon, one round for Reason-ish. Yeah. You know, other, other I'm not. Fact that I'll be honest. Board. Math's not my uh, <laughs> my strongest point, uh, but at least I'm trying, right? Close enough. Yeah, like do. the thought that counts, yeah, right? Exactly. That's always exactly. that's always what we say. But um, yeah, ten to two. 
uh, CT side, they've been playing very passive, and I feel like that's not really been working out too well for them. We've seen a couple of players just make, like, one aggressive play where they push all the way around, but other than that, it, it's been a lot of just sitting to the sights, and I think that's been playing into Epsilon, a team, well, pretty much very good at the entry frags, and Thomas there just shoulder sticking out, smooth, uh, easiest kill of his life. It's just going to be sat back, waiting now into a four versus four as they will execute over towards this A site, smoking out. And every time they get to this position, they just plant the bomb full back, and it's all the way down to Reason Gaming once again yeah. to try and retake. Yeah, so many times it happens. Come on, Pang, you're going to find one. But Cosmin is straight back in. Finally, Cinder replies, but it's too late. Hoodlum becomes one versus two in a dire situation. We've seen this before, except it was different players. Is this going to be... The time to shine. Maeve getting aggressive, could get caught out, and there it is. Hoodlum comes in, one kill. Now still has to find Cosmine. He's got utility. He's already got three kills in the round. Can he close it out for the 4K? And will he even need to is the real question. I think it's unlikely. No kit for Hoodlum. It's already too late. He's got to get out of there. And Cosmine, he's won the round for his team. Yep, literally just winning off of patience. Just holds over towards long. Bomb wasn't really planted for him, but it didn't matter. You could see from the spots that were checked by Hoodlum just going to basically expect him to be over towards that short position. That's going to be 11 to 2 now. So, yeah, more than dominant in this situation for Epsilon. They're going to be feeling more than confident, probably cocky at this point. And, well, CT side just going to be forcing themselves into this one. Yeah, a lot of work to be done here for reason. But you know what? I believe. I believe the Lord look. God created the universe. That's the song you probably wouldn't. Don't worry. You know what? This is the moment. Let's see. Reason Gaming. They're back on the bye. They're getting aggressive. They're finally getting in the face of Epsilon, but it's not going to work. Cosmin, Barbar, they all come together. They smash it. You know, that, to be honest, that is what I wanted to see from, from Reason. A bit of aggression, yeah. a bit of yeah. getting in your face. <laughs> it, it comes in, but it's, it's unwarranted aggression. Cosmin shutting down. Cray! There he is! Two kills come in. Finally, bomb goes down. And a bit of aggression pays off for Reason Gaming. Still two versus three, but there is potential here. Freddy B going to spot Young Cray, but can he get it? No, he's dead. <laughs> um, Quickly ended. Yeah, well, the dream was alive, but then H Hoodlum, Cray died. Hoodlum's still going, right? Yeah. Do, you be do you believe in this sense? No. No, okay. Of course not. Well, <laughs> Freddy B doesn't either. There's his head gone. He he's just styling. 12 to 2. Yeah. Last round of the half coming not in now. Not even going to be a decent buy either for reason. You never know. What, what do you mean? I never, I'm, I'm looking at what they've actually bought. <laughs> no, you never, you never know. <laughs> That's not no, how you this tell works. me what I do and don't know, right? Could happen. Could happen. But, you know, you know, this is not the greatest buy. There is a Deagle. We all like a good Deagle. UMPs, two M4s. Fair enough. Two M4s is uh, better than nothing. There's actually four players on the B side. So they've just gone complete gamble all in on B. Let's hope it pays off. Hoodlum getting some good early damage through. But Cosmine, the man to open it up. Freddy B comes in. Cinder finally replies onto Freddy B, but there's still three versus four. Maeve comes in. Cinder goes down. Hoodlum hiding away. Will it pay off for him? One. No. Karma banging the last man alive now. With an eagle in hand. He's got utility. He's got armor. He hasn't got a kit, but there is a kit on site, so he doesn't have to worry about that. He just has to find the kills. And there's two men on site for him to find. Nade goes in. No damage being done just yet. And no more to come. Maeve will take him down 13 to 2. And an excellent start for Epsilon. Well, I, I think start might be. An excellent end. Yeah, it, it, it's it's sort of looking pretty bleak in this situation. Pistol and done is the way that this game could be going. It's, it's a must win pistol. I, th I think that's normally the case in most games, but. This is more so just based on numbers. Like if they don't manage to win this one, you talk about conversion rounds normally being the two after, and that's the game finished. Like that'll yeah. be map one done and dusted. And I, I don't really see any scenario where Reason are able to come back from this. I do have to say they've they've arguably got the the worst draw in the first, but that could be the sort of best scenario for them. Like get the yeah. worst out of the way. You go okay. We didn't expect to win that one, and now move forward. What on earth are you doing? <laughs> I've got a really itchy foot. All right, that is not in any way my fault. I can't control where my itch is, okay? <laughs> if I could, I would. Probably one of the most off-putting things ever. Ever. Just weird. Either way, it looks yeah, like my we fault. may have some sort of tech pause. No, it's half-time. Yeah, but they're, look, they're fiddling with the computers. 
that's the whole point. That's how you play Counter Strike. You just fiddle with the computer. Yeah, but I don't think that's a player. So they're cheating. Is that what you're saying? It's a reason a cheating. Not, not, not very well. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, oh, are we allowing hats? Is that something we allow? Is, is this what it's come down to? <laughs> We've literally run out of things to say, so it's just asking if we're allowing hats. What, in case he can hear what we're saying? Yeah, he and can't. Then, he and that might can't. improve how things are going. He can't hear what we're saying. It's all good. Mm. And then, and then it because you could, well, if he if he can, and they lost thirteen two, would be bad, wouldn't it? Yeah, and like if you're using that to your advantage and it's still not going very well, I, th I think then maybe that's the time. Maybe to, give to up. Call it a day. Yeah, but map two, uh, map, map two, <laughs> cobblestone. See, I said this ages ago. No one listened to me. Map two is cobblestone, mm. which is a different map. Oh, which may oh. yield the same Why results. are you not on the desk? Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> I wish, eh? Uh, yeah. But... <laughs> you might be able to explain a buy round to us. Instead. It's Basically, a buy round like is that. a round where you buy. Oh, impressive. I'll take notes. Alm almost as in-depth as your notes on the desk. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I know everything I need. You see, the difference between you and me, right? You need paper to remember things. I... Got a brain. I like how you can actually hear yeah. you tapping your head, even yeah. though we can't see it. I got a brain. I'm pretty sure that the longest thing you've written on there is I need the toilet. <laughs> it's actually, can I go to the toilet? Well, I was thinking of just doing, can I go toilet? But I thought, what if he doesn't understand lingo? <laughs> anyway, game is back on. Pistol round underway. Let's see. Reason Gaming. Is the dream alive? You tell me, Tom. Uh, No. I, I, I'm I'm not a believer at this point. I I, I wasn't then a believer I saw your at, the, face. at the beginning of the game, but yeah, definitely not now. It's not looking good. Individually, we've had one or two plays, and well, that resulted in one or two rounds. McCray able to go aggressive, but that that was sort of a I would say that was more of a mistake from Epsilon, just trying to push back into a player that had a portion of the map they didn't really need. Either way, rush speed tactic and the CTs they're already and waiting already. Cosme going to get one, able to fall back as well. It's a quick trade, but it's still coming out actually fairly even, although Freddy going to give the man advantage back over once again. T-side getting tagged down one by one, but the HP across the board at the moment is very low. And actually, well, there was a chance for a second. They're still going to be ended in the end by Freddy B. He gets ended himself it, yeah. to, and that should be the game. That should indeed. 14-2. Uh, to two. I see this going no way other than down. However, if you're more optimistic, make sure you tweet it at Gfinity, hashtag Elite Series. Because otherwise we won't hear you if anyone is still watching. Barbar, of course, he's had uh, a reasonable game. I wouldn't say he's been uh, a star fragger, but uh, to be honest, in this game, yeah. no one's needed to be. No. It's just been so easy that they've uh, they've breezed through it, really. Freddy uh, B having a good game, Cosmin up there as well. And then it's not like anybody's having a bad game. Yeah. Smear's only died six times. Yeah, he's just playing it reasonably. Rounds, so. Oh, I see what you did. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, but no, I don't. You know, this is this should be the last round or second to last round. Um, there's not much to go for really for reason. They've got uh, you know, Tech Nines can be strong, but uh, Epsilon are just so far ahead skill wise that just can't see it going their way really. Tip it up it away is Barbar seeing what he can get done. And you can see the, the difference between this and the f you know earlier rounds where it was one UMP, uh, you know the rest rifles or whatever. Anyway, oh, nice early kill coming in, but Maeve and Samuya will both double up. Maeve finds himself another one with the UMP in hand. Bit of money into the bank. Thomas finding himself alone over there. There is a flank coming in, but he's already dead. It's all up to Cinder. One versus the world. No bomb to play with. Two kills have come in for reason. So a bit of money damage being done, but that's about it. Yeah, money damage when... There's potentially only one round left. It, yeah, it, like, not really. To point. reset them, you'd have to reset them about five times to get back into the game. So yeah. it, it's such a long way to go. And after this, unless he can clutch one versus three, which I, I'd be very impressed, uh, they literally can't make any mistakes. Either way, Cinder he is going to be pushing in. Spots out one, but that's his position already gone. They're all going to be turning around to his spot now. And well, easy stuff for Maeve. Adds another to his kill streak. Actually, gets four. Happy days. Yeah, Maeve having a pretty good game, I think it's fair to say. Um, this is the last round of the game now. Reason I get a force, obviously. I think Eagles. the analyst desk are going to have a tough time. Yeah, of course they, they might have. even not, have nothing yeah. to say. I doubt they'll have anything to say, to be honest. They've been rather absent lately. Mm. Absent-minded, at least. 
Uh, I'm sure it'll go all right. I'm sure they, they uh, have something in mind for us. Oh, what's that, Tom? You you don't have anything? Okay, we'll, we'll just stick it over here, mate. Yeah. Uh, Samuya having a bit of a spray down. Not much coming here, but Nate goes in. And Cray goes down. Nice little, uh, little angle there. We like that. Thomas can't get anything done. Uh, this game is over, my friend. Over. Karma, Hoodlum versus the world. Can they do it? Or is the world going to beat them? I think Epsilon are going to beat them. Yeah, well, that I, I the don't think the world really needs to come into play in this. No, like, if the world was against them as well. They'd be in real trouble, wouldn't they? Yeah, they might actually not have got any rounds. Either way, Hoodlum got the bomb down. Ooh. Gets himself a first. That's a nice deep shot. Look Ooh. for Maeve and a second as well. Going to try and do a little bit more. Smooth around the corner. Waiting patiently for his teammate. But actually could give him Ooh. a Hoodlum's now got three. This would be an incredible way to get a third round. We he saw him. Away. And Cosmine, well, he's going to end it. A little bit of hope right at the end. Yeah. It was, well, it's a it was damn good Yeah, try. really, really good. Really good. Three one play. leagues, but maybe all for show. 16 to 2, absolute dominance coming out from yeah. Epsilon. And, well, now they move on to Cobble and...